Hi everybody, it's Diana. I love looking at the catalogs and not only are they great to order out of obviously, but they are also jam packed with ideas of cards and projects to stamp, to make stamping easy. You don't even have to come up with ideas. So I am going back to doing my Mimeograph Monday, but I'm gonna um, add a little twist to it. So it's Mimeograph Monday and more. So the card that I chose is out of the holiday catalog and it's on page four and it uses the stamp set Candy Cane Christmas and the card I'm going to do is this one right here. It is so cute, so quick and simple. So I'm going to show you how to do the one in the catalog then I'm going to show you a couple that I um, kicked it up a notch a little bit. All right, so let's get started with the card. I'm just going to use, this is just our um, Whisper White Thick. I love it for a card base. It's nice and thick, just like it's called, um, but it stands up and it holds its shape um, where the regular Whisper White might not do that, and that's better for layering. So I'm going to be using um, the Whisper White Thick because the card in the catalog is just one layer. Then I'm going to put my silicone rubber sheet down only because I'm going to be using some washi tape to put along the edge just like the card is in the book. So here it is here. Let me move this aside so you can see the card at the same time. So I'm just going to find the edge of my washi tape and I'm going to give it a little trim with my scissors and I'm just going to cut it along the angle that the candy cane like um, design goes. And I'm going to add this to the top of my card like that. Now by using the silicone um, mat, the washi tape just peels right off. And then you could cut it off, but I'm going to wrap it around so it looks pretty on the inside as well. Then I'm gonna put a piece on the bottom Again, I'm just going to use my scissors. Now you can tear the washi tape, but I want it to have a straight, clean edge. So that's why I'm using my scissors. And then I'm going to put this one along the bottom, like that, just so that it mimics the card in the book. So that just peels right off of there. So easy. If you put it on your regular paper, it would stick to the paper. So this just makes it nice and clean. Now I'll move it out of the way so I have a nice, um, flat surface to stamp on. All right, so the colors that I'm going to use are Real Red, Sahara Sand, Crumb Cake, and Early Espresso. So following the card in the book, I'm going to use my little star. So I'm inking up my star, and I'm going to stamp the star there. Then I'm just going to put it in the pad so that I remember that that ink pad, since it's, they're all open, I know that that is a Sahara one. Then I have my red pad all ready to go, and it has these two stamps in it. So I'm first gonna do this one, which is some sort of little candy. So I'm gonna ink that up really good. And then that's going to go along the side there. Move that off to the side. Now my little greeting is gonna be early espresso. And I'm a wood girl, and this set I chose was in wood. So I made my little jig, just a piece of vellum cardstock. I made my master. I'm going to put my jig in place like that. Pull it aside and now I'm going to ink up my greeting with my early espresso and stamp it right on the card. Lickety split. Love, love, love. All right. Then I have some trees. So I'll move that little guy aside. This is going to be crumb cake. So using my catalog to copy from. I have my tree in the crumb cake. I also want a mitten and he's off to here a little bit off to the side. And then back to my red. So if you were doing this, this as a class, it would be a good idea to um, perhaps mark a little um, piece of tape on the stamp or somehow so that people know not to mix and mitt mix and match the colors so you don't make a mess on your ink pads. If you're doing it at home, this is just easy. Keep that little stamp in there and then you won't make any mistake about stamping it in the wrong color. And then the final one is the little gumdrop. 
And that's in the early espresso as well. So I'm gonna stamp him there, and I'm gonna stamp him there. So sweet. So let me move these guys away so I don't get my arms in them because I'm not gonna close them right now. So this is the card that's in the book. So it looks pretty darn close to what's in there. And this would be so easy to whip up a bunch of them that you can send out for Christmas. Super cute. Now let me show you a couple. So this is the, the one I did earlier. So this is the one I just did. So let me show you a couple that I kind of um, kicked it up a notch. So this one, I did another layer of cardstock. So you can see, so I just used regular Whisper White. So now there's this extra layer that I popped up with some dimensionals. And then I also added a rhinestone in the candy here. So that just makes it a little more special than the other one. And then I have one more to show you. In this one, I added extra colors. So it's just so simple just to change it a little bit, which makes it totally a new card. So I put a little bit of um, garden green behind it, and then I added some garden green ink as well, just to add a splash of color. And on this one, I added some pearls. So there's some pearls in the candies here, and then I just sprinkled some around, which catch the light and make the card look different. So isn't that fun? So I hope you'll check back at least every Monday and see um, what's up. But here are this Mimeograph Monday and more cards. Very good. If you want to check me out, make sure you go to my blog. It's up there in the uh, picture. And I will uh, talk to you soon. Have a great evening. Bye.